Let's be honest, who doesn't love making projects for little kids? The best part is, it doesn't have to be overly complicated. You can usually find some scraps around your shop and put something together that they'll cherish for a long time. And on that note, we were recently visiting my parents' house when my three-year-old found this relic from my childhood. No, it's not just a bucket. It's a bucket chair. And this was given to me 40 years ago by local craftsman Wayne Wilkerson from my hometown of Toledo, Iowa. I'll admit the design is pretty simple, but it's actually pretty clever too. It just consists of a bucket and then a metal can to sort of support a plywood seat. And if you're anything like me, you probably have everything you need to build these in your shop already. So let's do this. So I've looked around the shop. I've found everything that I need. I have my five gallon bucket. I found a paint can for the seat support and then a small piece of plywood for the actual seat. As you can see, I've already laid out my uh, cutout for the seat here. And I'm, I'll probably use a jigsaw is the best thing to, to cut the plastic, but there's a gentle transition here. And I could certainly use a jigsaw for that, but I'm gonna cheat a little bit and use a hole saw to get started. I'll start by aligning the hole saw as close as I can to the corners and cut a hole on each side. Then I'll come back with the jigsaw and cut along the layout lines. If you find that your jigsaw work just isn't quite up to par, no worries. You can use a random orbit sander to clean up the plastic to the layout line, and then come back with the sanding block to take away any burrs or rough edges. After that, you can use denatured alcohol to remove any excess uh, permanent marker. With my bucket complete, I'm ready to cut out the seat, and I've sized that to fit perfectly into my opening. But before I cut that out with the jigsaw, here's a little tip. You want to draw a circle on the back of the, the seat as well to match the paint can. That's going to help me center it later after I get it cut out. I'll overhang my plywood over my workbench. and pivot the piece as I go, keeping the jigsaw blade as close to the layout line as possible. After doing a little sanding on my plywood seat and adding a clear finish, I'm ready to add the paint can. I'll just flip it over. I've pre-drilled some holes in the bottom of my paint can, so I can use my previous layout lines to center that. Then I'm just going to use some small screws and washers to attach this. It's kind of a tight space to work in here, so it really helps to add some pre-drilled holes here to get it started. With that attached, it's ready to add to my bucket. there you have it, a bucket seat. But after I build a couple of bucket seats, I want to step further and build a bucket table. And I'm going to show you how easy that is to do. The table's pretty basic. It starts with a three quarter inch plywood top. And then on the underneath side, I've added a plywood spacer to attach the, the bucket lid. So I'll just put that on top there. 
And then on top of that, I have another piece of plywood, which is going to act to sandwich the lid between two pieces of plywood. And then I don't have to worry about the screws pulling through that plywood if somebody leans on the edge of the table. So I can attach these. So with that attached, I'm ready to bring the bucket in. Obviously the base is just a bucket, but add a little ballast and so it doesn't tip over. I'm going to add a bag of play sand and I'm ready to put the top on. It's just a matter of getting it centered on there and snapping the lid in place. There we go. I can bring up my bucket seats and I have a whole bucket dining room set. Now does that make me father of the year just because I built some bucket furniture for my kids? Probably. But you know what? What I really hope is, is that they get a few years of use out of it and maybe someday their kids will come back to my house and find it in 40 years and get some enjoyment too. So get started on your own bucket furniture today. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this tip, subscribe to the Woodsmith Shop channel. Every week we're adding new tips and great woodworking videos. So hit the bell to be notified. Plus, you'll find project plans and downloads in the description below.